Well, greetings. You will hear the fan in the background again. I do apologize. Let me scoot my touche up a wee bit closer to know, sir. Uh, I can go and get Maleficent closer to me so, you know, you can hear my lovely, smexy voice. We're going to go ahead and do this little mission here. Zahan asked me to take a letter to his old friend Ruin to request his help, but apparently we got jammed. Zahan's shop was bustling commercial district near the harbor. I managed to find... I, I imagine that the front for a criminal organization would be tucked out of sight, but it was a large building facing, you know, facing a broad street. Oh, Lydia and Reyes, nice to see you again. Welcome. After we had caught up, the hand took the letter from his coat. Would you be willing to do a job for me? Yeah, I want to deliver this to an old man named Ron, who lives outside of town. He is a former soldier. He used to be one of our most skilled men. He was tired now, but he's smart, and with his help, I could turn the city around. Are you willing to assist me? I don't think I have a choice. I arrived at a location that Han told me about and was surprised to find a splendid manor. It seemed that Rowan was a man of taste as well as ability. The man had monies. What's your business with me? Oh, that boy sent you. The old man's face grew dark as, his re as he read the letter. Hmm, Carl Wong went missing, did he? The boy won't be able to help him run the shop and clean up town. Owen's eyes shifted to me. His kind grandfatherly expression had been replaced with a sharp, calculating stare. In our line of work, a business is only as good as the one who runs it. People might lend you their strength, but unless you have the brains to use it, it'll go nowhere. I won't waste my time with someone who doesn't have what it takes, even if it's the boy. With that, the old man's smile returned. But he must have had a reason to send a stranger like you. Convince me to help you, right? And if the reason is good, well, perhaps I'll lend a hand. For example, maybe if you're a warrior with enough skill to entice me, hmm? What do you think? The offer sounded fucked up.
Dumbass English. But that wasn't bad. That was practically on point. Tell me. Oh, I must admit. I did you a disservice underestimating you. You've proven yourself to me. I have to trust the boy's intuition. He has my help, at least for the time being. Suck it, Death. I performed awesomely. Though I only had kicks and shit to work with, but you know. The other moves worked, they just wouldn't do damage. Uh, uh. Rowan sank deep in the dark. Let's start off by visiting a few noble citizens to collect funds. After that, we'll see who remains in the organization and get, proper, get them properly trained, of course. That boy will have to work on his image too in order to keep Lin Pei's gang on their toes. I was certain that soon I'd be hearing from his uncle's conference. Yay, we did it! Well, there you are. I have a small errand for you. Please have a seat. Zahn greeted me with a wide smile that opened the door of the shop as if he had been expecting me for some reason, which is never good. You have heard of the Shinobi. They're sort of condescending operators for Japan, the land that was divided into war and powers for many years. And the Shinobi operate in the shadows. They're ninjas! Well, there's a group of Shinobi techniques here in order to showcase the Ming Empire. They formed a little collab and got into some business of robbery. It's quite a mess to clean up, really. The authorities have de demanded my assistance and that, but nobody wants to put themselves against people who can fight like devils and have an endless bag of tricks. I understand. I fought one, too. That's when I was struck with a light of inspiration. You, yes, you, Rhea. You, I know I can trust you to handle yourself. I'll even aid a little bonus or reward for helping me out, will you? Then press the bounty notice of the band of thieves, Nikum Makata gang, into my hands, and they ushered me out of the shop. Again, I had no choice. But I had to go save the world. I read the second bounty notice that Han had given me. Tommy, a moment he used back magic to manipulate corpses, it seems she was lurking in the mountains to the west. I am a corpse too, so could she manipulate me? I didn't see the right? I hope I did. Look at the good.
Last two songs, I was almost on point with that, those endings. Maybe I give it about five seconds. Because I was saying that last few beats, so I give about five seconds off. I'm on fucking point, bitches. What you want? Hmm, that's an interesting one. What do we got for me? I read about I read the bounty notes that have been given me. Takasa and Ren of the Hero of Vagabonds pretend to be husband and wife. It seems that they have been last spotted along the road to the north. Oh god, fucking slippery ways. The fool laughed scornfully at me and challenged me to a battle. If I win, I will be rewarded handsomely. If I lose, that just means another F. And F's are bad. Because I'm already on a failing grade right now.
I'm gonna be honest with you guys, my rolls are showing up. Your soul surges in your body. I read the dark bounty and noticed Zaha had given me. The Kasugi brothers, the elder dwarf and the younger giant, had seen that they had fled to Zayu. They didn't flee far enough, I still found they punk asses. I ain't gonna lie, this sounds imposing. This does fit as pop. I'll watch how the beat goes, but the timing for the song is just going pretty fucking well. Bandit left out of nowhere to block my path. I had no choice but to fight. I hope I'm not being counted for this. I ain't gonna lie. was the latter roll. I'm sorry, Moonlight Shadow would have fit perfectly with Sethka or freaking Taki. I read the fourth bounty notice that I hadn't given me. Shamuno, boss of the Nekomet game, seemed that this move was hauled up in the hideout of the trading point.
Greetings, salutations, this is Notorious, and just letting y'all know my fourth book is out. It is entitled Lyrica Kitsune Magica. This is the cover. It is on Amazon and will be on other platforms. So I would appreciate the support. You all have a wonderful day. Deuces. The Ming Empire had fallen into turmoil in the recent years, and the hiring guards had become norm amongst merchants. However, there were some among these guards who would immediately turn on their clients once they were outside of the safety of the city. This was not the case for Yang Wang, Yang Guan. Even guards hired outside of official channels performed their duties without fail. Apparently this was because of a man named Fei Hong, who had organized all the guards and officiated with any crime syndicate. Zahan planned to revitalize his organization by allying himself with Fei Hong. He gave me a letter sent to me to meet the man. What? Damn it all! I lost again. One more round, come on! This is. You shouldn't, you're no good at this, Fei Hong. Near the castle gates, I found a man suddenly playing dice with his fellow mercenaries. It had to be Fei Hong. Well, if no one wants to play, hey, how about a round or two? The man suddenly turned to just me. I thought I had approached unnoticed. I turned down his offer and delivered the letter. When I said that I had come on behalf of Zahan, proposed an alliance, Fei Hong furrowed his brow. That put me rather in a bind. I received a similar letter offer recently. Le Pen, Jackal himself, came to see if we could strike a deal. He said there was a pile of money for me so big they would make my eyes pop out of my head. Young Zahan can't do better than that, can he? Hold on, though. To be fair, money isn't everything. Nasty work is still nasty work. No matter how you're paid, a man may like needs to enjoy life. So, friend, what do you think? Can Zahn buy me some fun? Mm. What sort of things do I find fun? Well, Fei Hong lives curled in a wicked grin as he locked eyes with me and assumed a fighting stance. Things like I'll have a bout with someone who can give me a real challenge. Then he did a flying drop kick and nearly knocked my head off. Fuck this guy. YouTube Premium is ad free. Yeah, all I was joking about the flying drop kick. I wonder if I can have Maxi's fighting style. I do still need to get the Geek Hero part of my playlist. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, are you alright, Fei Hong? <laughs> exactly what I wanted. It's a deal. I'll work with Zahan. Just, to, just promise me we can do this again sometime. Oh, come on. I'm with you. Hey, get in line. I'm gonna start with him first. Goddamn. Me whooping ass and taking names. 
only want to listen to the rest of this song. Again, yeah, another count that I finished bef when she was done talking? Can we count that as a victory? No? 10 out of 120 fucking points? When I returned to the shop after eliminating a neck helmet at the game, I was greeted by a beaming Splendidly done, Rhea. You carried that affection for me, didn't you? An official just gave me the good news. They said her prayers would work for me. My reputation in the city is growing. I can't hear it swagger through the streets there now. Oh, the official left this as a little extra bonus. Here, remember where you got it. I'm gl so glad I have someone like you around. Don't be a stranger. He gave you money. With Mitsuruki for company, we pressed on. Suddenly a strange and familiar aura filled the air. It felt like a berserker stepping forth from the astral fissure. Hmm? Something in the air is entangled down my spine. No, could it be another astral fissure I spawned? I shall investigate the You two stay put. I know this feeling more... More berserkers, I wager. Forget Natalie. I will not let a good fight pass me by. Let's go, Rhea! Ignoring Natalie's orders, Mitsugi sprints her off. Left with little choice, I quickly followed.
surges in your body. Jump the gun on that song a bit, but. With the fire over, I darted my hand to the astral face and claimed the power. Hey! What the hell is going on here? I will not allow you to interfere. This needs to happen, or she'll die. She destroyed the gate. <laughs> Can't say I expected that. With a sigh, the strange man turned and began to walk away. Where are you going? We have unfinished business. Easy now. Got things to attend to. I'm sure you must too. If my previous actions offended you, I truly apologize. I am meant to be a heat shower. And you are? Yeah, Olivia Witcher. What the? The man suddenly gave a sharp gesture on Mitsuruki, his fingers tracing a symbol in the air. Instantly, the samurai's movement became sluggish. What the? What the hell is this? Relax, you'll be fine. Just walk it off. Garrett turned and walked away, leaving Mitsuruki bound by a strange power. Hey, you think you can stop? Well, fuck again. <laughs> With a burst of strength, Mitsugi broke through the invisible bonds holding him. <clears throat> okay then. Jared, was it? Jared. That would be most interesting in the real duel with him. Perhaps he has not gone far. Gone far. I can catch up if I make haste. My apologies, Rhea. But this is where our paths diverge. Take care and keep your wits about you. Mitsugi hurried off with the Garrett, just as Natalie returned. I believe I told you to wait. What happened to the astral fissure and the samurai? I pretty much thought of what happened and hope you didn't punch me in the mouth. If the astral fissure has been dealt with, then we should get moved. Get the samurai. He can do as he wishes. We did it. Save day. Be honest, guys, I got one more fight in me. And we got like a seven more minutes, so yeah, let's do this shit. Finally, the astral fissure, another one. No one else appeared to be around, so there was nothing else for me to do but to absorb his power. But when the berserker suddenly appeared, Nazi began acting strangely. Five. The information was correct. Approach the target. When we near the astral fissure, a berserker appeared. What the? Natalie's eyes widened. Suddenly she backed away, shaking her head as if in disbelief. Curtis, why? How? Natalie seemed shaken. Looking closer, I noticed the berserker was wearing an Avala uniform. <clears throat> must stop as well. So, Curtis, it is I, Natalie. As well betrayed us. So Curtis! The grief down in his voice did nothing to stir the berserker's emotions. In a trance, she began wandering towards him. I stopped her and raised my weapon. What was I thinking? He's a berserker. He, he must be defeated. Um.
Forgive me, girl. I failed you. I should never have accompanied you. The brother of disappeared, leaving behind a heavy silence. He never stopped caring about the girl. Was it not he who caused her death? Now they slumped down when Berserker had disappeared, her expression unreadable. I'm, I, I'm fine. Natalie stood and turned to me. We need to meet up with Dylan and destroy the other astral fissure. Nom 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 fissure. Your soul surges in your body. By the time I reached the place Dylan and I had agreed to meet, it had been turned into a battlefield, as well and the qualifier had been one step ahead of us. Fuck that pretty boy and his prissy bar. Going, going, going. As a rendezvous point, I don't a clamorous battle was taking place between the qualifiers and the Azel organization. My eyes fell upon the injured Dion. At least you, 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 at last you made it. It was as well. We tried to slow him down, but he broke through our lines. You go on ahead, Rhea. We will deal with the threat here. I left Dion and Natalie and headed towards the actual prison. Soon I found myself path, my path blocked by qualifiable warriors. Qualifiable, dequalifiable, untieable, making out to make sure we fiable. Oh, <laughs> 
I wasted too much time flustered and hurried out to the forest like a bright edge of had no astral fissure in sight. You didn't make it easy for me, but you still have failed spectacularly. I have claimed the actual fissure for myself, but I am awesome. Hmm, where is my dog grow? I simply love to watch him squirm and suffer on that razor line between reason and malice. Allow me to share something wonderful with you. I am nearly there. You know, just a little more, and maybe we won't ask for fissure, and I shall be able to summon the swords and achieve ultimate power. Well, how does it feel to be on the brink of the feet? You must feel so delightless and desperate, no? <laughs> I wish I could stay in observe, but alas, I am too busy. Percy, I walk. Ta-da! Goodbye, dandy dick. As well as slaunter away. <laughs> God, there's an anime scene. Like, I don't remember what anime it is. It's... Excel Saga. Not Excel, um. Tenshi GXP with Sanrio with Sanrio does his whole little flaunt and tease and then just kind of skips away. And just like, that's how I'm envisioning this guy doing it. Just hands on his head like, no, 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 no. With little other choice, I have to leave. I turn and head to meet with Damien and Natalie. Your soul surges in your body. I was honestly hoping that'd give me 60, guys. Uh. We received new information from Avel. An astral fissure had appeared in Greece, as well as was heading this its way. On our way to Greece, we met back up with Gro. He had completed his mission. Sir, y you are okay. Mm -hmm. Yes, I have read your reports. You have done well. But thank you, sir. So as well as girls in strength yet again. He himself said that he acquires his power for watch and fetch will go to achieve his goal. Well, we must defeat him in Greece. Let us make haste. In other words, no dilly-dally. I'm gonna go dilly-dally, damn it, woman! Sir, I'm gonna go dilly dally. Someone stop that girl. I'm not a girl with bone skeleton. Lynn and Natalie left their seats as I followed them out, although my overheard girl muttering something to himself. You would not approve, would you, Chris? When I turned to face Crow, he was looking at his left hand, his expression resolute. In the shadow of the temple where the last actual fissure was said to appear, we rested on we rested one last time before our decisive battle with Oswell. Unable to sleep, I was sitting on the front of the campfire when Natalie approached. Struggling to sleep, I see. That is fortunate. I, as I have something to say to you. I have watched you do our journey together. I have often questioned whether I can trust you. You are an odd sort. Though strong, you neither boast nor use your power recklessly. What is going through your mind is anybody's guess, but I do not believe you want you to be wicked. I will trust you, for now. But do not take this as I mean not to let my god down. Cross us and you will die. <laughs> I think what Nam is trying to say is, you I. You good. We were counting on you. Neon stood on the other side of the campfire. I had noticed him approach and had me glared at him in silence. Don't give me that look. You know that's what you meant. Natalie and Ray, I want you both to do that. I'm with her on this. Let us work together to stop as well. I messaged you from Sir Girl too. He said she wishes to speak with you. 
When I arrived at the meeting place, girl was waiting for me. Hello. Tomorrow we face Aswell for the last time. I wanted to say something to you before we venture into battle. Is this a confession? In order to defeat him, I shall need to push this wretched power inside me to its limits. Girl will cover his left eye and really protest scar. Even so, there is no guarantee I can emerge victorious. His power has grown immensely. Furthermore, I know that my mind will not survive if I harness my complete power. I never expected an easy death, but recently I have often thought of home. For a moment, Bill expression soft him, and he got a distant look in his eyes, as his face revealed a warmth and kindness I had never seen in the heart of warrior. A moment later, it was gone, a place with unusual, severe, severe expression. We must risk everything we are to defeat Giselle. Even if I am victorious, I will likely lose control of myself. Should that happen, kill me. You have the power to do so. Thoreau appeared absolute, resolute with his, with a small nod, I vowed to do what he asked. To think I will be asking this for another for a second time. Hmm? Oh, first of all, I see this picture of me. Wow, it's like a face hugger's eating my head. Never now. The hour goes like, let us rest. Swamp fire. Oh, I'm mad, guys. I'm mad. I want to get 60 for you guys. I want to get 60 for you right now. I think this is the final fight with... If I go into a fight, I risk the I risk the possibility of absolute utter failure. But again, I want sixty for you guys. I want sixty. I want to get sixty in front of y'all. I don't want to get it by you know me grinding a bit. And well, again, I keep saying that we should be at a place where we can stop. But again, I'm looking at this going, yeah. And to be honest, my ass has been on fire. Again, I really want 60. So let's do this bad boy. Danger awaited me along the road to the temple. However, my journey was not over yet. As well as his allies had been taken care of. Had been taken care of and quickly. The road to the temple was swarming with ascended warriors. They needed more warriors. They've got to be here before us. But I can still sense the astral fissure. There's still time. Leave this battle to us, sir. Take Rhea and find the astral fissure. I nodded to Dion and Natalie, and Gro and I sprinted toward the temple. Did I move my phone? I did. Phone, you gave me over here. We found our path blocked by Daniel, our goal just out of reach behind him. None shall interfere with Lord Aswell. In all my life, I swear you will die by my hand. He's hella full of himself.
I was one inch from grabbing you. Wow, that was perfectly timed on his point. As well, man neglected to give you you power. I don't need that. Yes, you do, because you're lost. Do you just straight taste like gummy gummy fruit? I punch that fruit. I wanted to remain beautiful, a human loved by Lord as well until the end. I never had them until recently, and then someone gave me some, and I was like, these are quite good. Yeah. And, and then now I have a bag. And they're addicting. Daniel's weapon dropped from his lifeless fingers as he collapsed to the ground. This video is not supported by Swedish Fish. It is not. It is not supported. Even though they are good, they are like the best food snack fish ever. The trader has been eliminated. We must hurry. Do I get 60? Oh, you fucking bastards. Sir, you should just end this fight. You know, because um, it's, it's still going. I want fucking 60. So I can end it like that. So, I thought it was to the beat was very well. Like, your, your steps to the beat were... It, it was very well. It was pathetic, and you know it. I thought it matched really well. <laughs> now, granted, there were times where you were getting hit, but... Weirdly, it was to the beat. Her, her being a fast character, it was still the beat. Like, it, it, it all went well in the beat. Let's get it um, on. You don't give a why, why, we don't give a why, why. Get it on the floor, get it, get it on the floor. Why? Get it on the floor, get it, get it on the floor. Why? You don't want the party, then don't ask about it, fool. You are too late. It cannot be. The show is over. The curtain has fallen. I'm not saying shit because this is voice acted. You can't hear it because it's muted. But you can, you'll hear it on the thing because it's. God, he's a flamboyant douchebag. Random mook guy is gonna hold him on for a while. When I have dealt with these, I shall move in to offer support. Let us go.
I could count that. Yeah, that battle was not very long. The better you did, the shorter it was, and you couldn't really help that too much. It's a scripted fight. Right. You see how cheap this guy is? I win still because I'm a douchebag! I didn't expect him to let himself get pushed up. Well, that's it's part of his plan. Spoiler alert, it's not spoiler alert. But yeah, it's part of his plan. That was the whole smile indicated like, oh, he was he was wanting that. You got it fucking kidding me. It's game. It's game. Why? Why must you torture me like this? <sighs> fucking bullshit, motherfucking piece of shit. You see that, right? You're in chapter four. I had three fights to get from 59 to 60. All of them were scripted fights. Why well, didn't you do the 10% up? I thought it'd give it to me. Like, can, can, is there any more to gain? Like, it looks as full as it could be. There's, a, there's like four points. If you fart, you're gonna level up. Pretty much. Can I do something and not count? And then you have to not count? Because I want to do this on screen. I really want to get this for you guys on screen. Alright, I'll pick. I get to pick the song. Wait, well, I don't know if you. I don't, that might be a problem. I don't know what songs are allowed on YouTube. So never mind. Oh, no, no. My entire playlist is not allowed on YouTube. I don't know what the songs yours are, but. This is some bullshit, guys. This is some bullshit. I just need a random fight. Where is something close to me? You know what I'll do? You know what? No, 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 I know what I'm gonna do. No, game, you don't win this. You will not win this way, game. Fuck you. In an attempt to reclaim her family's honor and my absolute annoyingness with death, and him keeping me one point away from actually getting a new body, cause he's a stupid dog, I decided to go visit a friend of mine. As I went to Bolta's shop, I hoped she was doing all right, but she was trying to replicate her father's swordsmanship, swordsmithing techniques, and figured a trip to the mountains near her and to the western was in order, well, to get the right medals at least. And I'm just going because I want to punch a dog in the face. When I visit when I visited Balta's workshop again, I was surprised to find her without her hammer in hand. Instead, she was intently examining a Chinese sword. 
Grandpa Forge this long ago. There is not a speck of rust on it, even though most of it's been sitting around all this time. I think he treated the surface with some special metal, but... Wait a sec. Raya, good to see you. You're here to help me out, right? Now I'm here to say hi. I didn't say nothing about helping you out, bitch. Then let me get you up to speed. Please do. Hold to straighten up and fix her eyes on me. The exhibition is a chance to restore my family's honor. See where it's been the Royal Smiths for generations, till the mercenary Captain Essen offered my father a bribe. The dear old fool pushed him instead. I like this guy. Essen is a distant relative of the Royal family, so he had my father barred from the place. They took away his shield bearing France to King's son, first given to our family to mark our service to the Royal family. There was a treasure for us for generations, but he's a dick, so we took it. If I win the expedition, I'll get that shield back. That's why this is so important to me. I have to reclaim the honor that was stripped from us. Both out of the breath was trying to say everything at once. It handed me a sword and shield I had been staring at earlier. I plan to duplicate this sword for a second round inspection. According to my grandpa's notes, the metal is used can be found in the mountains west of here, near Ferngun. Mind coming with? I had no choice, so she dragged me along. After a day's travel in the mountains, trails, we were prepared for us even though we were afraid of goats. We arrived at our destination. I've never seen like that. Shrines every color of the rainbow. Once you're fine, I'm sure it can make that rust proof metal. Thanks for leading us here to the stuff. <laughs> well, that hell of a time falling. You found those rocks for us. We just spent most of the bonus pay on it. Uh, you are since goons. That's nice. How about a body drop? Does it matter? You're not going here. You're going to die here anyway. That's good to know. No. Nah. He was doing everything he could possibly do to fuck up your moves. It was funny. It was like he knew what you were doing. 
Right. I need to tell Lord, tell the Lord that the other Smiths are out this deposit. That way, no one be able to monopolize it, and everyone will reap the profits. Walter began putting a large chunks of rocks into the basket. The return trip promised to be even harder than the way up. But we have goats. We have goddamn fucking sixty, you motherfuckers. Thank you. Good. Now I can fucking end it. Fuck you, fight. Good. Awesome. We'll end it there. I get to watch all these really cool fights with my friend. He gets to critique with me, so. This is Notorious, I'm out, and hopefully I'll have a new body. Hurrah! They often said to me that even though that. they have claws, it doesn't mean that they can kill without compassion. For the knowledge to know when to care for one, as if they were this. your own, is as difficult as to know when one should run those claws through the cold water and forget what they have seen. For the gauntlets of a mother are always used through the love they feel towards the many. That their hands are stained are not that way due to the fact that they only feel hate. No, they fear their power, unable to sedate or stop, for they only want what is best for their little ones. The compassion felt through the hands can transcend the very soul of those who have lost such emotions freeing them to the next without regret. For to love is to protect from the world, while compassion is to guide and watch those young cubs venture out and know when they need to get those claws.